check out the guitar. That's cool. That is cool. Just throw that in the back on the way home. <laughs> Everyone, we are in Springfield, Massachusetts today. It's February. We're going to an RV show because mm -hmm. we're thinking spring. We're thinking camping. <laughs> <laughs> we're hooking up with our friends Rich and Yvette also today, so that should be cool. So let's get in there. Well, we got our tickets, but it does not open until 10 o'clock, so we came back in the car because it is February. It's and 33 degrees out. <laughs> yeah. There's a train going by, so I apologize for the horn. We are here. It just opened. How about there's some motorhomes? Yeah, it's a long ride if there's no motorhomes. Apparently they do have motorhomes, son. This is a coachman sports coach. Yeah, let's go check this one out. I love the paint package. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, do not like the buttons on the recliner. But they look comfortable. Yeah, they look comfortable. I'm just not a fan of that side of though. Uh, seems pretty nice in here. Hey, it's a diesel. A diesel with the door in the middle? Yeah, no. Normally the door is up front by next to the passenger seat. Huh. Mm, different. Dinette. The layout's nice. Yeah, it's not too, too bad. What do you think of the uh, countertops? They're okay. I like the glass top uh, stove cover first. Hmm. Yeah, it must lift up while you're cooking on it, though. Yeah, you can see the hinges in it. Oh, yeah. The bathroom. Toilet mounted right to the floor. No step up like in ours. Makes it hard to put in a composting toilet. The shower's across from it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we had that set up in our Class C. Shower on one side and toilet and sink on the other. It wasn't a bad setup. No. I like the bedroom. It's like a decent sized bedroom. Mmm. Looks like there's lots of storage. Mm hmm. Bed looks big. Oh, uh, look, there's only a side table for me. <laughs> this is a Thor Quantum. It's a Class C. Yeah, full body paint. I like that paint package. <laughs> <laughs> I like what the TV is. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, look, there's a button missing over there on the driver's side. <laughs> Nothing like quality control. <laughs> it's a step down into the cab. I do not miss the step down, now that we have Maggie. <laughs> L-shaped kitchen. Hmm. I like the woodwork. Yes, I'm, and I normally don't like the dark wood. Hey, look, a blue refrigerator. <laughs> All right, that's just protective coating on it. <laughs> oh, look it for privacy. It's just a curtain. Hmm. Cause it's just the two of us anyway. Looks like a big bed. Yeah, decent sized bedroom. No, yeah, nightstands on both sides. Check out the bath. All right, look at a cabinet first. Nice cabinets. It's easy to get things in and out of. Oh, look, drawers. Mm. I like those. Yeah, you don't have those now. <laughs> More storage. It's still deep. The bathroom. Not too bad. Oh, seems nice. They tough. already have smart tiles on it. <laughs> <laughs> tough to use that toilet. With the pretty blue on these Catalinas. Hey, hun, look, it's a GeoPro. I think it's used for geocaching. <laughs> That's funny. This could be an addition to Maggie. We could we could pull up behind Maggie. We could pull up behind the Jeep. That'd be cool. Maggie pulling a Jeep, pulling the GeoPro. Fine, <laughs> they little, pack a lot into this, huh? Yeah, a little tiny kitchen. And everything else. <laughs> hey, look, even has air conditioning. Small storage area. Bed and dining room. Mm -hmm. And couch. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of everything. Oh. The other side, huh? <laughs> It looks like one of the refrigerators that's in a motel room. Yeah, but even the motel room is bigger. The thing is, though, it's it's small, but it's quaint. I kind of like it. And the bathroom. 
slash shower. shower. Those walls must be waterproof. I should hope so. This is a Fleetwood Flare. Yes, it is. Class A motorhome. Yeah. You know, the dash isn't too, too bad. A lot of a lot of the Class A dashes just look a little weird. It's one thing I like about Maggie. I like where the TV is. Hmm. Kitchen looks a little small. Yeah. It's your basic layout, though. It serves its purpose. I like how the TV's mounted like right into the wall here, though, for the, for the bed. Mm. Is that a queen or a king? Oh, and tables on both sides. Mm. Shower looks big. Oh, the sink. I love when the sink is not under the medicine cabinet like it is in Maggie and you bump your head when you brush your teeth. <laughs> hey, the cockpit table, hon. For anyone who has a Class A that wants a cockpit table, the eye that just popped up will take you to the video that shows you how to put one in yourself. <laughs> Cheap <Sick>. plug. <laughs> <laughs> this is a new My Bay Star. Full body paint. Pretty. I'm not sure I like this really. It's actually a little loose. <laughs> Oh, hey, look at the lights and the uh, board on going across the top of the slide. I like oh, that. Cool. Hey, get the motorcycles out the way. We're going to move. <laughs> hey, they carpeted all the front. Ah. Uh, don't know if I care for that or not. Mm. Seems like you have a lot of space. Mm. Look at the counter space, hon. Yeah, lots of counter space. You like your counter space. Look at the square sinks. Hey, yeah, there's two of them. Wow, the woodwork is really light, huh? It is light. It's very bright. Hey, look, the balances look like bow ties. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a queen bed. Mm. I like that little workspace area right there. Mm. No, actually, it's kind of hard to work. Oh, well, what am I talking about? Bunks. <laughs> Don't need bunks. No, no, we do not need bunks. Those would, those be, bunks. Those would be ripped out. <laughs> Decent size bathroom. They really don't want to use that toilet. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a decent sized shower, too. Mm. Oh, look at those pull out drawers. I know, you want them in Maggie. Those are nice. <laughs> and here we have the Jayco Precept. What's a Jayco Precept? <laughs> this is a 34G, ours is a 35S. I don't, I don't like it without the carpeting on the doghouse. Yeah. It's a lot of couches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still gotta get a reclining love seat in ours. <laughs> hey, look, the door slides. It's a sliding door for the bathroom. How cool is that? That is cool. I know a vet saw that and she said, that was my idea. That's what I want Rich to do. I can't wait to see him do it. Yeah, I know. Then I'll have him come up and do ours. They always put lots of cabinets in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still say they put too many in, Maggie. Look at they have the wardrobe cut back now so the mattress doesn't scrunch up when the slide closes. <laughs> All the doors open sideways now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like your bird. Yeah. 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 This is a Forest River Cedar Creek Cottage. Yeah, try saying that eight times fast, hon. <laughs> now, this is nice, huh? We should put this on land. Well, it's 40 feet long. I guess it'd be kind of cool to say, well, we live in an RV, and then we'd take our other RV to vacation. <laughs> <laughs> we'd know how to winterize it. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. I like it. Mm. Of course, the slide's the same as our bedroom slide. We'd have the side windows all the time. <laughs> well, this is not too shabby at all. I like the TV above the window. That's a nice sink for a trailer. Yeah, it's a good sized bathroom. Well, I mean, in the end, I don't believe you're going to pull this behind a pickup truck either, so. No. <laughs> 
Because it'd be cool if we could, then when we decided to move, we could just pull this behind Maggie. This is an Airstream International Signature. Yeah, so many people like Airstreams, we couldn't come to a show and not go into one for you. And just to let you know, this place is getting full and these trailers are getting packed. So it's getting very hard to uh, video and there's no way we can video everything that's here. I mean, God, there'd be so many volumes to this uh, video, it'd be like an encyclopedia. Did I just date myself on encyclopedia or something? <laughs> Their, their windows are very interesting. Mm -hmm. but look at the mirrors are slanted. Hmm. What if that distorts you at all? <laughs> no, probably not, I'm sure. No. They are an icon out on the roads, that's for sure. I'd personally miss my slide. Me too. This is a Northwood Arctic Fox. Yep, and just like the Airstream, we know a lot of people like truck campers, so definitely had to include at least one here today. And I gotta tell you, I'm kind of impressed with this one. There's the bathroom. It looks pretty cool. It's all in one, but it's got plenty of space in it. For a truck camper, yeah. <laughs> But look at it, I mean, you got everything that you need. Hun, if we ever decide to get rid of Maggie, we'll just get a pickup truck and a truck camp. We'll be all set. Yeah, we'd be all set. <laughs> it's a three burner stove, even. Mm, I'm really liking this. It's got an oven. <laughs> I'm excited. Pretty cool. It looks like there's plenty of space up in bed, too. Huh. I can see why people like these. <laughs> I love the slide aspect in it. Hmm. It looks like an apartment-sized refrigerator. <laughs> well, that's what a truck camper is. It's an apartment on the back of your pickup. Where's the pickup? <laughs> All we need is a pickup. <laughs> I really like this. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Check it out. There's even a little bit of stairs coming down off to the left. We are in the second building. That's the size of It's getting more and more crowded as the day goes on. It's a Saturday. So let's see what's in the second building. This is a Keystone Passport. I think it's put out by Passport America. <laughs> hey, it's got a Murphy bed. That's cool. Little kitchen. Square sink. I got one of those new furry on. Uh, we've been seeing them all over the place with the backlit knobs. <laughs> the glowing. That's all your essentials. Yeah, decent sized bathroom. Mm. It's a big shower. Looks like it. Mm. Oh, it's got a tub. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like double sized bunk beds. That's kind of cool. We don't need that. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hey, my family's here. <laughs> this is the Thor Challenger. I love the paint job. Look at the size of the GPS screen. This is nice. Matter of fact, our friend Rich has voted this one best in show. I love the woodwork in here. Mm. Got a lot of room in here, too. It's got a big table, just like we have. Mm -hmm. This is the bathroom. Look at the woodwork. Mm, that looks so nice. shiny. Mm -hmm. It's a decent sized bathroom. Definitely is. It's the half bath. Yeah. <laughs> Residential fridge. Look out, Rich. What's <laughs> <laughs> in here? Oh, shelves. Very deep shelves. I like the drawers. There they are, oh, There's those drawers <laughs> I like. It's a real fridge. TV's on. It's got a bath in the back. Yeah, I'm still not a fan of two bathrooms. I don't think it's really needed, especially when it's just Cheryl and I. Yeah, just for the two of us, not needed. Nope. Not to say it doesn't look nice, though. <laughs> yeah. Looks like a decent sized shower. Mm hmm. And the toilet's on the floor. <laughs> yep. Yeah, but with two baths and you need two com composting toilets. And, and a thousand dollars a piece, that's that's an awful lot to go to the bathroom. <laughs> it's a headboard. Yeah, very it's nice. Very nice. Oh, 
fireplace. Love it. <laughs> this is the Grand Design Solitude. Check out this door. It slides along. That's cool. Yeah, it is cool. And all of the bunks back here, if you own a daycare, I'm just saying. <laughs> that's, that's a lot of room for kids back here. A little bit of storage. Yeah. Oh, shelves on the inside. That's nice. It's got to be a TV somewhere. No more. Nope. More bunks. No. Nope. All bunks. <laughs> we just don't need bunks. No. No. Not at all. The couch underneath is kind of cool, though. Yeah. It actually looks kind of comfortable compared to most RV couches. Mm -hmm. Fireplace. Oh, nice, nice. I like the light accenting underneath the island and underneath the cabinets. Yeah, I wish we could do that. Mm -hmm. We'll probably come up with something sometime. But, and there's, there's that oven again with the blue backlit knobs. <laughs> I wonder how long those will actually last, in all seriousness. Because it's the new thing for sure. Very nice. Let's go up to the bedroom. Oh, yeah, this is a fifth wheel. <laughs> Can't come to a show and not see a fifth wheel. Uh, Big I, bathroom? I always love the amount of space that you seem to get when you're in a fifth wheel. Big bedroom. Mm hmm. Dude, check out this closet. Wow. Look at that. Is that nice or what? Look yeah, at that. It's almost walk in. Look at that. And it's curved. I love that. That looks neat. <laughs> Here at the prize area to turn in our tickets. Cheryl is filling out all the information on the back of the tickets that were given to us when we paid our entries fee. Cheryl, yo, yo, <laughs> it's very crowded. <laughs> we are back out from the RV show and we have our new grocery bags. <laughs> it's one of the things we do when we come here. There's seven bags right there and we can uh, exchange them out for our current bags that we got at the last RV show. Yeah, some of them are ripping, so it's good timing. And we got a Cummings truck and a yo-yo ball. <laughs> and yes. Stress relief, stress relief, stress relief. <laughs> I killed the semi. <laughs> you made a crash. All right, guys. That's it. That is the RV show. We hope that we showed you stuff that you were interested in seeing. There was an awful lot there. There was three buildings worth. Yep. And the later you come to these, the more people there are. Some of those RVs got quite crowded. Mm -hmm. So uh, we had fun with our friends Rich and Yvette touring the RVs and walking around. But other than that, I guess if you uh, liked this video, we'd appreciate that thumbs up as always. And don't forget, you want to become part of the Get Gone With Us gang? Right down there in the corner. It's easy. It's free. Feel free to share and comment this video down below. Because until we make another video, I'm Chuck. And I'm Cheryl. We're Get Gone With Us. Bye. Bye.